What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome to my channel, Astro Finesse. It's your boy Lil Finesse Jiggy Hippie back with another video for y'all. And this video right here, we're gonna be talking about the planets in the 10th house. And I'll pause for the cause. If you're just starting off your journey of self knowledge, if you don't know how to read your birth chart, if nobody puts you on as to why it's so important, why you have to, it's an imperative, must, a need, and a necessity that you look at your birth chart, you study astrology, you study numerology, you understand yourself and you love yourself through astrology and numerology. Don't worry, I got you. There's a couple of videos, I'll put the link in the description. You have to watch them first to become hip to the knowledge of what I'm about to talk about right now. So if you look at your birth chart and you realize you have planets in the 10th house, this video is for you. So without further ado, let's get it popping, shall we? Now, before we start, let's talk about what the 10th house means and what the 10th house represents in a birth chart. So the 10th sign of the zodiac is Capricorn. So the 10th house represents Capricorn type things, Capricorn characteristics, which basically is your public persona, public image, your public status, because this is the first house in the last quadrant of your social expression. So there's no better way of socially expressing yourself than what you do as a career, what your status is, how you perceive yourself publicly, your persona. So 10th house is like your career, your, your, your public persona, your status, Capricorn-esque type things. So looking at your 10th house will tell you kind of how you are seen to the world. It's on the top of the whole chart. So it's the, it's the place where people see the most. It's like the highest point of the chart. So what people see the most. And having your son in the 10th house is having your ego in a house of status, in a house of career, in a house of public persona, in a house of being successful in this lifetime. So those that have their son in the 10th house, egos correlate to how successful they are. The ego correlates to how how much they can, what kind of legacy they will leave in this lifetime. So these people and almost all of the, actually all of the planets in the 10th house, these people take career, take their their status very seriously. So sun and 10th house people, your ego correlates to what kind of career you have, what kind of um, what kind of status you have in this world. It's not materialistic status as in like you have so much money, but it's what you're looked at, what you're recognized as, what your persona is to the public world, to the people. So be aware, having your ego correlating to your public persona, that you're not always doing things only to get that recognition rather than doing things for yourself. It's like these people could get carried away of doing things only because only because they want the achievement, only because they want the public rec recognition. And when they don't get that, that's where their confidence becomes lower. That's when they, come, they kind of become hard on themselves, they kind of become pessimistic on themselves because they're not getting the achievement and the recognition that they're working hard for. Rather, work hard to build something for yourself instead of trying to be so be so focused on the achievement factor of the public recognition factor because all that will come in the end all that will come no matter what capricorn energy 10th house energy are destined for success so the achievements is going to come no matter what but as soon as y'all put in the hard work as soon as y'all put in the effort that's how everything correlates it comes together so your ego is going to be tied into your social status your public persona your public image so be aware of this factor about yourself be aware that you can always do things only for the achievement of it, only for the recognition of it, rather than doing things because you like it, doing things because it's what you love. So be, put yourself in positions of being able to be focused on your career, being able to focus on your public image, but don't be so reliant on how people view you that you're kind of doing things only because you want people to see you a certain way, if that makes sense. And now having your moon in the 10th house, now your emotions are gonna be tied into how you're perceived to the public world how your um how your status is what kind of career you have what kind of legacy you're leaving in this lifetime so these people a lot of times you should kind of put yourself in positions of working in like a nurturing field like being a nurse or being like a guidance counselor or being like a doctor and things like that things are things that have to do with nurturing people working with children working with animals because your emotions your emotional security is based off of what kind of career you have what kind of status you have in this world so if you're the type that doesn't really have a prominent status yet, or if you're not where you want to be career-wise yet, you're the type that really can go through emotional, like emotional internal turmoil, or people perceive you and they can really see how you are reacting based off how your status is set in this lifetime. So understand that to gain emotional security and stability in this lifetime, 
y'all put a lot of focus into your status, a lot of focus into your career path, into what, what you are looked at as to the world. So people will perceive you too as being very nurturing, being very motherly. Like I said, the 10th house is the house where people see that's the most highest point in the chart. So having your moon here, having your emotional nurturing energy in the 10th house, people will see you as a very nurturing person. In your workplace, you'll be the type that likes to be surrounded by like like family type coworkers. They like to be like um, family dynamic in your workplace and your work dynamic, very nurturing to people you love. But y'all really take your 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 um, public persona, your status very seriously. They're the type that actually would rather work first and get their career set before they like chill and have children and have kids and do that family thing. Like y'all really take that career path very seriously for this for this energy. Be aware that your um, your careers can fluctuate too because the moon fluctuates all the time. Your emotions can fluctuate all the time. So your emotional security goes into what kind of career you have. So you 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 will seek stability in everywhere you go when it comes to your career path. So one one like one year you will work in this field and you have all these emotional connection to it and you love it and you realize like you're not feeling fulfilled all of a sudden and you you will like drastically change to another thing. So it's like your job, your career paths, your social status can fluctuate based off based off of your emotions. So being at one within yourself and knowing who you truly are and what you like and what your emotions are and being in check with your emotions correlates to how you're perceived in the outer world. Like I said, your emotional security is tied into your public perception, your social status, your career, what you do for what you do for the world, what how you socially express yourself to the world based off your reputation. And now having your Mercury in the 10th house, having a planet of intelligence, the planet of communication in the house of career status and structure and stability y'all are really structured stable thinkers and speakers especially when y'all speak the way that y'all have like an authoritative voice an authoritative presence in the way y'all speak and the way that y'all look at information and the way the way that y'all think about life in a structured capricorn way a serious manner people take y'all seriously when you speak so understand that you're the type that really likes to make things organized and structured in your mind. You're always thinking about the best plan to do, the best original plan for your business, the best plan for what you're gonna be doing in this lifetime, successful-wise, career-wise, status-wise. Your mind is always thinking in the avenue of building a legacy for yourself, building something for yourself. Structure-wise, monetary-wise, and um, career-wise, like personal, persona-wise. Your mind is always in the area of thinking of ways to be successful and when y'all speaking to people you give off that vibe of like damn this person is mad serious this person is very this y'all like really mature speakers like mature in the way y'all in in, <laughs> mature in the tone of your voice mature in the way the words y'all speak so the presence that y'all have around people is people respect y'all based off the way you speak so understand that you take very serious you take it you take you take it very seriously the words that y'all say so understand that when you're when you're thinking of things Y'all are really serious in what y'all say and what y'all speak. So put yourself in positions to be like a communicator, a public speaker, an orator. Things in the communication field will be a good profession for y'all, a good public um, a public status for y'all, a good career path for y'all. Because y'all are really good at organizing things, making it structured, speaking with authority, speaking when people can hear you and understand you. And you're always thinking of ways to be successful in this lifetime. Mercury moves fast, so Mercury is always constantly moving. These are the type of people can also have like more than one career path, more than one job, more than one interest when it comes to public persona, public um, identity, because Mercury is easily able to do a lot of things at once. So you can so you can easily make yourself available to do more than one career path at the same time because you like to keep yourself mentally stimulated and structured work oriented very serious manner if that makes sense and now having your venus in the 10th house these people are attracted to mature type people you're attracted to capricorn x type people work oriented structured serious like if if you're trying to date a venus in the 10th house person and you don't have a job per se or you don't know what you're doing like purpose wise or you're just lost in life and you don't have a really structured organized plan for life you shouldn't really deal with these Venus 10th house people because they really respect authority. They respect power. They respect people that are on, that have their head on their shoulders straight, that are driven and that are like, you know, focused on getting legacy, getting the bag, getting, 
being successful in this lifetime because they are the same way. So you are what you attract. So you expect to attract someone that is like you, that is serious like you, that's work oriented like you, that likes to be stable and structured and to build a legacy with someone instead of having to um having to drag somebody along because they're not really pulling their end of the weight kind of thing. So all in all though, Venus and Tenth House people, you're attracted to people that are really work oriented, really structured, really powerful when it comes to public persona wise, public status wise. In your work environment and the kind of career path you can choose is going to be something in the arts field something that has to do with beauty you love being surrounded by beauty you love being surrounded by venusian things beautiful things like graceful things libra-esque and taurus-esque type things expensive things these people are the type to work work really hard and then buy the nicest things to themselves because it's like they're not showing off like look how flashy i am it's like they're showing off it's like look how much hard work i've done and this is what i could like this, this is what I can afford and this is how I present myself. This is my public persona. This, this is my public, this is my public, um, my public image from all the hard work I've done. Also, y'all are really charming because that Venus factor makes y'all very charming and very likable. So people in your workplace are really, you're really likable to people in your workplace. Going on interviews, y'all really like, y'all really blaze through interviews easily because you're really likable and charming when it comes to your work environment, your career environment being structured and being like likable to get where you want to get being likable and being okay with with working with people to be successful to have that status to have that public persona so put yourself in environments that has to do with art beauty and all that um venusian venusian things but all know though if you're trying to date a venus and 10th house person make sure you have your career set make sure you have your head on straight you don't have to have all the money in the world but you have to have a plan set in your mind and you have to be working towards that plan and they will respect people that actually are grinding that are actually focused on life because they take life seriously they want to be successful because they take life seriously our uh, 10th house energy is an earth sign it's like the material plane so similar to the second house which is all about money they they take they take life seriously because they want to have money to be successful they want to have money to be stable but they want to have the money to work hard so they have that public image, that public persona, that public status of this is what I built for myself and look how like look look how Venusian I look being able to work hard and be successful and be stable in this lifetime. So make sure even if you're trying to date someone, make sure you actually have your own life plan set, you know your purpose in life and that's how you will attract a Venus and 10th house person. And then having Mars in the 10th house y'all are really um let me say really militant in what y'all do really structured in what y'all do mars is a, is a planet of action and aggression and and like the planet of doing something what you put your energy towards so y'all put your energy towards work big time these are easily the people that could be workaholics that really like have like blinders on and just go full focus on working 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 make sure making sure that they have their um their status set, their legacy set, their, their public persona set, their uh, career set. So y'all could easily be the type that likes to work like aggressively a lot. So putting yourself in field and y'all really respect authority and structure too. So you're the type of people that could easily work like in the military, police, law enforcement, things that have to do with fighting for like for the structure, fighting for the cause, fighting, but being structured and serious at the same time. Like I said, law enforcement, military things like that firefighters things that have to do with being like wearing the uniform being the authoritative figure easily being able to fight when 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 the time comes and being able to hold your ground being able to be be structured but for the cause for the law for the structure for like y'all really respect authority like that so understand that mars everywhere mars goes it makes conflicts and makes like you know battles happen so y'all could easily be always fighting and bickering in your workplace and your work environment. Similar to having a Mars in the sixth house where they feel like they're the only one working and people around them are so slow so they can really fight with their coworkers. Y'all could easily be the type that wants to fight around or likes to be competitive in your work environment because your whole focus is being able to go to the top of wherever you're at, the top of the food chain, the CEO, you want to be the boss of wherever y'all are at. Y'all do not like being told what to do at all. So make sure you're always trying your hardest to work into positions that you can actually be a manager, be the boss, be the CEO of wherever you are or of wherever you are. I personally suggest making your own business so you can so you can fully control that no matter what. But if you're working a job, try to make yourself try to work hard to get to the top because you do not like being told what to do. And like 
that's how the fights could happen a lot when you feel like you're working hard you know what you're doing and you got people telling you what to do or you got people kind of controlling you in that work environment in that career status environment that's where the bickering and fights could happen but generally all in all you put your you put a lot of energy emphasis and force and and a lot of your drive towards your career towards your status towards your public perception public persona so a lot of your a lot of your energy goes towards being able to be successful in this lifetime and the energy that y'all have the drive that y'all have the um the way that y'all could carry out things without getting tired like that the vigor the vim whatever all that makes y'all even more susceptible to becoming successful in this lifetime so now having uh uranus in the 10th house like Uranus, you already know, is a planet that rules Aquarius, does his own thing, likes freedom, being eccentric, being different. So when you have Uranus in the 10th house, y'all definitely do not like the 9 to 5. Y'all definitely, when it comes to being your, your, your public persona, when it comes to your career path, when it comes to what kind of legacy you want to leave in this lifetime, y'all like to do it in, in unconventional ways, in your own way. So basically creating your own job, creating your own business, Doing things yourself that gives you a lot of freedom in your in your work life in your career life. Y'all need to be in control of your time, like your freedom. You don't like being tied down in that cubicle job, clock in, clock out, do the same thing like everybody else. Anything Uranus does does not like being like everybody else. So working in a career, working in a job that everybody could do, that everybody does, being stuck in that, like I said, that small cubicle box, is something that Uranus and tenth house people. You will not feel comfortable doing that at all. So put yourself in positions to be eccentric, be outside the box, create your own kind of income by creating your own kind of business. And it's going to be geared towards the humanitarian aspect of life. Your public persona, your public image is going, goes, is going to be like that person really cares about the world. Like their, their whole life mission, the whole life purpose, the whole life goal is to try to do something and to change the world. Y'all really care about the world, humanity as a whole. So y'all are really structured, y'all are really disciplined when you have your own like original business plan, your own original business idea. Y'all can really be structured and disciplined into that. Also, Uranus, like I said, very sporadic, very spontaneous. So your job can change drastically, spontaneously. At first, if you don't really know your purpose, if you don't really know why you're here or what you like, it might, it might be hard to find a career that you like, so you always be bouncing from job to job, career to career. But as soon as you study your birth chart, look at your whole birth chart, love yourself and, you know, do like the inner work to know who you truly are, then you could put your own original business ideas into something and you can have that structure and patience and hard work because anything 10th house is, is y'all are not afraid of hard work. And the best reward of hard work is, is the fruits of your labor. So when y'all putting that hard work into something you originally made for yourself, that is when y'all feel the most confident within yourself and it will be give y'all the most freedom you'll be free to do what you want because like you're creating your own schedule it's your own original business idea and it's for a humanitarian cause at the same time so you're like doing something for the world at the same time you're doing something that makes you feel comfortable because you have freedom and you love it and it's individualistic and it's different and it's eccentric and it's just different it's just like just your honest it's just weird a little bit it's just different completely against the norm but then that would generate a lot of income for yourself because it's completely against the norm and you love doing what you do. So keep in mind that y'all do not like being in the nine to five structured, everyday robotic thing, do the same thing, clock in, clock out thing. Y'all do not like that. Put yourself in positions, try your hardest to really break out of that structured nine to five and doing something for yourself business-wise. And that's what your career path would be. That's what your public, rep your public reputation recognition will be, is that person that really cares about the world and the humanitarian aspect that does their own thing, has their own career path, has their own set way of living because they like to they like to be free. Uranus likes to be free and doesn't like to be tied down. So now having Neptune in the 10th house, everywhere Neptune goes, Neptune rules Pisces, Neptune makes things illusionary, delusionary, hard to really pinpoint, hard to really see what's going on, hard to really have boundaries to it too. So these people, Similar to Uranus in the ninth house, Uranus in the tenth house, Uranus doesn't like structure because likes being different. Neptune in the tenth house doesn't really like that nine to five either because it's all structured and like Neptune doesn't really like boundaries and rules like that. It likes being free and spiritual and outer worldly and the other realms and esoteric realms like spiritual and like you know 
healing energy too. So like that nine to five structure things for y'all as well is not the best avenue, the best environment for y'all because y'all could easily kind of gloss over the structured things because y'all are really fantasizing about other things and all that. So putting yourself in positions of like healing as a profession, healing as a career path, anything artistic as a, car a career path, as a profession, anything spiritual as a career path, as a profession, as your public image, as your public persona, is was what is what would be best suited for this energy. Y'all can always be daydreaming about the perfect career, the perfect job, the perfect um, public image. Y'all can always daydream it to the point that no matter what job you have, it's like you won't feel fulfilled because of the idealistic way of y'all daydreaming about it. The way y the way y'all think about things could be really idealistic wise, especially when it comes to your career energy and your um, public persona and that public reputation, 10th house energy. So y'all could daydream about the perfect job and all that to the point that when you're actually working, no matter where you go, you don't feel fulfilled because it's like what y'all daydreaming, what y'all daydreaming is not reality. It's like, it's more of the imagination kind of thing. So keep in mind that you, a lot of times you might not feel comfortable no matter what job you have. So that's why I'm saying like, no matter what you do, y'all don't really care about being famous and having all the money and all that. Y'all care about being fulfilled spiritually, internally. Neptune is very spiritual energy. So doing something in the healing energy, doing something in the um, artistic field, things like that, things that are spiritual, artistic, things that are healing, like like um, being a guidance counselor, being an artist, a musician, things that have to do with the, the energies of the internal energies rather than being structured, things that have to do with like spiritual Neptunian energy, that is the best career field for y'all. That is the best public image for y'all. That is the best public persona that y'all can walk into that will make y'all feel fulfilled. Being able to help and heal people makes y'all makes y'all feel fulfilled rather than being able to manage people and crunch numbers and do all that nine to five cubicle thing. So make sure you put yourself in positions of spirituality, of artisticness, of healingness for your career path. And that was what, that is what will make y'all feel fulfilled in this lifetime. And now having Pluto in the 10th house. Now, Pluto rules Scorpio. Pluto is the sign of um, of death and darkness and resurrection. I said resurrection. Death, darkness, transformation. So having Pluto in the 10th house, and Pluto makes everything more intense, intensive and obsessive. So y'all are really intensely and obsessively focused on building a legacy in this lifetime, on building your career path in this lifetime, on, on your personal on your personal persona in this lifetime. Y'all having a, an obsessive, intensive manner about focusing on what y'all want to get in this lifetime. So understand that, like I said, 10th house is the, is the point that everybody sees, it's the highest point in the chart. So it's your public image. And having Pluto here means that you will go through transformations, you will go through transformative events, or um, what's the word I'm looking for? You go through um, chaotic events pertaining to your public image, your public persona. People might see you and talk and talk and gossip about you one day, not knowing who you are, or people might look at you and just have a whole different view of who you are. Cause like y'all don't really like to let people get inside of your life like that. But on the outside, y'all are really structured, y'all are really stern and like cold a little bit looking. Cause you, you care about power to the max. So understand that you might go through transformations when it comes to your public persona, but all in all though, because Pluto loves power so much y'all really want to be successful and y'all really want to have that power no matter where you go so it's kind of hard to have that power if you're working for someone so i'm gonna always suggest this that try to make your own thing your own business that you could run yourself and have all the power you want but similar to mars in the 10th house when you're working for people because y'all love power so much because y'all like to be in control so much when somebody's telling what to do your managers your bosses your peers y'all go through like power struggles in the workplace y'all go through power struggles in your peer group at work. So understand that y'all really have an obsessive need to have that power and to be successful in this lifetime. Y'all have an obsessive, intense need to get to that, to, to get to that point of legacy, to get to that point of success in this lifetime. Put yourself in positions that allow you to have the full power, the full control over your business. Make your own business, create your own business, do your own thing so you have all the power that you can. Understand that when you're working for someone or in work environments, you can have a lot of power struggles, can argue a lot with people around you. But all in all though, 
You will go through a lot of transformative, transformative events at the workplace, in your career field, and especially in your public persona. So keep that in mind too. But generally, these people are really secretive when it comes to their personal life because they really um, all they care about is being able to do things and study things under the surface. And they only show you what they want you to know. They only show you what they want you to see. It's like they don't really put their whole life out there. They only show you, you only see what they want you to see. So a lot of times when you're looking at them, you won't really know who they truly are because they're only showing you what they want you to see. But y'all really want to get to the top of everywhere you go, like power-wise. So understand that you kind of want to make your own thing, do your own thing so you have complete control and complete power over what you're doing. And now having Jupiter in the 10th house, Jupiter, everywhere Jupiter goes, it expands it, it makes it more abundant, it makes it more grand, it makes it more travel-esque too, which is like foreign, outer worldly, not outer worldly, foreign and like um, far travel-esque too. So Jupiter in the 10th house, now Jupiter makes everywhere it goes lucky and abundant. So y'all will feel lucky and abundant with your career path and with your um, with your personal, your, with your public persona and with your career path and your public recognition and your achievement factor. Y'all will get a lot of abundance and a lot of blessings when it comes to this aspect in life. So much to the point that the negative of this aspect of this side is that you could become too comfortable or become too lazy a little bit to actually put in the work because you're so used to things going your way or you're so used to not having that many boundaries when it comes to when it comes to your um career path or your public life or your public persona. So you, you might become lazy as in the fact that you're so used to things going your way or you're so optimistic that things will turn out so well and you're just so lucky in this in this, in this area in life that y'all could become, y'all could procrastinate a little bit, y'all could become lazy, y'all could just sit back and chill. So understand that even though Jupiter is here giving y'all blessings, giving y'all abundance, giving y'all grand energy, grand joyous energy, being generous to y'all when it comes to your your public persona and your career path and your public reputation, Understand that you still gotta put in the work. You still got you still you still gotta put in the groundwork and whatever y'all doing. So if you have that Jupiter energy and you're putting in the groundwork and you're working hard, that's like that times ten. You're definitely most definitely destined and going to be successful in this lifetime. Don't rely too much on Jupiter giving y'all blessings and luck. They become lazy. But all, all in all, though, generally these people really get a lot of business opportunities easier than most. They get a lot of business opportunity opportunities. Uh, bigger bu bigger business opportunities better than most y'all could get jobs easier than most kind of thing so things in this lifetime opportunities in this lifetime to be successful comes easier for y'all make sure you're also putting in the work to actually execute those opportunities because Jupiter is giving y'all a, a lot of opportunity a lot of abundance a lot of opportunities a lot of abundance so putting in that work adding on to that will make Jupiter's blessings be more abundant for y'all don't become lazy don't become procrastinative because you're getting lucky and getting job opportunities put in the work as well and you will see how much abundance and blessings y'all get but y'all could easily have career paths that are um in other countries foreign language foreign lands like jupiter s type things um y'all generally love doing things in a very grand and joyous way so understand that your public persona could be that person that yo that person is living bigger than life that person is so like it's just so optimistic so joy so grand and so big so you will attract a lot of haters too. So people will hate on y'all because of how y'all live life in the public eye. People just see you being so optimistic and seeing being so grand. People automatically hate on people they see living a life like of abundance like that. So keep that in mind. But like I said, don't become lazy. Don't become stagnant. Don't become too dependent on good luck coming your way if you're not putting in the work because you because then you will just mess up the whole abundance factor. And not having Saturn in the tenth house. Saturn rules the 10th house, so Saturn is comfortable here. And now these people understand that when it comes to your career path, when it comes to your public image, when it comes to what you do for, what you do as in like your public persona, at first you already know Saturn covers things up, makes it difficult. So you could have grew up in an environment seeing what it's like not to have money, seeing what it's like your parents working really hard, seeing what it's like people, seeing what it's like to see people struggling when it comes to like their work environment, their money and all that. So that's what your focus becomes in big time growing up. So Saturn makes you focus and slow down on the aspect in life. So this aspect in life is gonna be your public image, your career, your public persona. So at first you will become pessimistic on yourself because you might see like your peers 
being more successful than you faster. You might see your peers getting higher positions than you faster than you. Understand that at first, y'all will have to work and grind a little extra harder than most. So even though your peers might be moving up in the positions faster than you, even though your peers might be getting more money than you at first, understand that Saturn is just forcing you to like really focus on this area in life, forcing, forcing you to actually put your energy towards like looking at yourself and really understanding the structure of life. But as soon as you keep working on these things, as soon as Saturn comes back around, you will notice that you will even surpass your peers. You will even surpass the people that were ahead of you at first. As soon as you actually keep grinding, stick with the cause, stick with the stick with the um stick with the mission and stick with the structure and stick with the discipline. In the long run, y'all will become successful and destined for success in the in the long run. Y'all 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 the type to always have the last laugh. Because at first, people looking at you like yo, that person. You, you could kind of like do work and not even get noticed for your, noticed for it at first because Saturn is just making things slow and structured and forcing you to kind of work extra hard. So keep with the cause, keep with the mission, keep grinding, keep going with it, keep going with it and understand that Saturn will lift its restrictions when Saturn comes back around and then you will see how like your career path will just expand, how your personal your personal persona, your public image will just be expansive and just so like you will be successful to the max in this lifetime and y'all being successful y'all not the type to be flashy flashy y'all actually really serious and structured because you understand what it's like to work hard for something y'all really respect hard work y'all really understand what it's like to work hard and y'all go through a lot of hard work in this lifetime and that hard work will pay off at first it might not look like it but understand that our hard work will pay off you will surpass all the people that were laughing at you, all the people that were looking down on you, you will surpass them tenfold. As soon as you stay with the cause, stick with it, and understand that things are happening to you to teach you something, to teach you lessons. Y'all go through a lot of um, boundaries and restrictions when it comes to your career path. A lot of like, I go through a lot of bullshit when it comes to your career path and public image. But understand that all that is to teach you something, teach you structure, teach you discipline. And as soon as y'all master this trait of discipline and structure, Saturn will release, will release its restrictions and will give y'all that career path that y'all have been dreaming of, that y'all have been working hard for. It's like y'all are given things because of you worked hard for it. So the harder you work, the more abundant and the more grand that your public image or your career path will be, the more happy you will be in your public persona, your public persona energy, that 10th house energy, the more happy you will be having that perfect career that you have because you worked so hard for it. And now having a tenth house, a tenth house stellium, which is having more than, which is having three or more planets in the same house. These people, your focus in this lifetime is going to be your public image. This is going to be the public expression quadrant in the um, in the birth chart. So your focus, your emphasis is going to be your public image, how you are perceived and looked out, looked at in the public eye, through achievement, through your career through what you do for a living, through what you, through how people see you and perceive you on an everyday basis. Not everyday basis, but on a legacy basis, on what you have built for yourself. So understand that putting, focusing your energy on your career, focus your energy on your public image, is what makes y'all feel fulfilled, as, fulfilled in this lifetime. Don't put too much emphasis on what people look at you, how people view you, your achievements. Don't put too much emphasis on the outer achievements. Actually care about your inner, inner, inner world, inner work, your family too, don't work so hard, you're actually forgetting your family and people that love you. Really understand that it has to be balanced with anything, but having your 10th house stellium, y'all are destined for success as soon as you stay with the mission, stay with the cause, keep grinding, keep discipline, keep structured, keep staying structured. Y'all are destined for success in this lifetime because the universe is putting emphasis on this area in life, on your public image, on your career path. It's putting emphasis on this area in life. So keep studying your chart, look at your whole chart, look at your sixth house to see how your everyday activities are, your everyday work life is. Like astrology is putting all the puzzle, puzzle uh, putting all the puzzle pieces, putting all the puzzle pieces together. So put all the puzzle pieces get put all the puzzle pieces together. What the fuck? Put all the puzzle pieces <laughs> put all the puzzle pieces together for your life and understand that having a tenth house stellium, you're the type that really cares about that public persona you really care about that public reputation that's a really big emphasis in this lifetime for you so keep that in mind with this, with this placement y'all are destined for success no matter what happens no matter what kind of boundaries y'all go through no matter what kind of bullshit you go through understand that in the long run 
you're destined for success as soon as you keep grinding and as soon as you stay with the grind, stay with the cause, stay with the mission. Now that was my video of the planets in the 10th house. I hope y'all enjoyed that. My next video is going to be a planets in the 11th house and you already know I'm about to go in talking about Aquarius energy. If you have subscribed to my channel, appreciate all y'all for real, for real. You already know. If you haven't subscribed yet though, go ahead and handle the one time for your boy. Don't forget to drink your water, mind your business, and be safe out here. It's your boy Lil Finesse Jiggy Hippie. I'm going to see all y'all when I see y'all. Peace.